So, Splash Mountain is sinking, Cosmic Rewind is launching, and Magic Final Four, the 64-team Disney tournament where you decide the winner is coming back. We'll tell you about it next. I'm your host, Brian Perry. Episode 93 of Inside 300 starts... I don't have a watch. Starts right now. Abandoned ship, or abandoned log, I should say. Footage of guests escaping their Splash Mountain vehicle is our lead story today as it's making rounds on the World Wide Web after the famous attraction dealt with some minor technical difficulties. That is if you consider a sinking Splash Mountain boat slash log slash vehicle a minor technical difficulty. Now this isn't a first for the famous water ride. Back in August of 2020, other guests got to live out my dream of being evacuated off of Splash. But they got to do it in the laughing place scene. Maybe it's the spirit of Dr. Facilier growing impatient and attempting to pull the guests into the river as he awaits the Princess and the Frog re-theme. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, on to the huge, colossal, massive Magic Final Four news. <laughs> Last year, over 30,000 votes came in and were tallied in our 64-film Disney bracket, where you decided the greatest animated Disney film of all time. Two years ago, in 2020, Beauty and the Beast won the coveted title. In 2021, The Lion King walked away champion. But here in 2022, our full-fledged show will be back. But instead of movies, we will be voting for, drumroll please, the best Disney park show slash parade here in the US. More details will arrive soon, but as a special sneak preview of the tournament, check out the first look at the top four seeds in the 64 show Disney tournament. We proudly present the Festival of the Lion King. Oh man, that's gonna set up some crazy matchups. The other 60 shows slash parades will be revealed this weekend. In other news, the official date for the launch of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind has been announced at Epcot. After essentially being leaked by a Disney executive a few months back, May 27th has been set as the date in which you can board the first of its kind coaster. The ride will mark the first coaster in Epcot's illustrious history. All right, let's hop on a plane and travel 3,000 miles west to Disneyland as Disney's doubling down on the Encanto love after the film walked away with the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. The company announced that Disneyland's It's a Small World will now feature Encanto projections on the famed facade. For a limited time, guests can expect to see the hit we don't talk about Bruno come to life several times each evening on the facade. Disney says that like the Madrigal family's casita, tiles across the It's a Small World facade will flip, turn, and rearrange themselves as one scene transitions to the next. On to SeaWorld for maybe the second time in Inside 300 history. We never talk about SeaWorld. But check out this video of a penguin saying YOLO and full sending their way out of the enclosure. Oh, now what? Look at him. He doesn't know what to do. Reminds me of the Finding Nemo scene when the fish escape the tank and end up in the ocean and say, uh, what's next? <laughs> Happy to report that the penguin is safe and sound after piloting a plane to Madagascar. Attention, this is your captain speaking. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we'll be landing immediately. The bad news is we're crash landing. Now it's time for today in Disney history. We go back a decade and a half to 2007 when the Three Caballeros and the Grand Fiesta Tour took over the ride in the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot. So happy anniversary to that. 
R.I.P. Don Rickles. He passed away five years ago today. The actor was famous for a lot of things, but notably Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story franchise. And last but not least, happy birthday, Ant-Man. Paul Rudd turns a very suspiciously young-looking 53. And that's going to do it for this episode of Inside 300. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Hello, bell. This way you're notified every time we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry. I'll see you this weekend for another episode. And until then, bye-bye. <laughs>